Hello everybody, welcome to my current events page. Today I was reading a little article um, written by uh, Billy Graham's daughter, Anne Graham Lotz. And I'm going to paraphrase some of the things she said, but it was concerning um, the prophecy of Ezekiel 38 about a still pending battle. She said that there is a war that's predicted that has never happened. She said when Gog, the Prince of Magog, who some people believe is Putin in Russia, they come down from the north and they align with Turkey and Syria and the Sudan and Libya, and then they come up and go against Israel. Ezekiel 38 says God has done it because he's bringing them against Jerusalem because he's going to judge them and he's going to destroy them. Lotz then offered up a possible scenario for the recent developments in Syria. So she wondered, did God move President Trump to move the Americans out of the way, freeing up Russia to come down like the Bible says they will? She said that a friend who's in the news business sent her a picture of our American base in northern Syria the day after we left, and it was filled with Russian troops, and they had moved into our base. Now they are in northern Syria. So she's wondering if it's like a chessboard and if the pieces are being moved to set up maybe the last of the last days. In the midst of this uncertainty, Lotz went on to challenge viewers to intercede on behalf of Israel, especially given the political turmoil as the Jewish state struggles to form a coalition government in order to avoid a potential third election this year. She said that it's time to pray for the peace of Jerusalem they're a mess and they don't have leadership right now. The Israelis are divided when the enemies are surrounding them. And could it be that it gets so bad that like they did in Judges, they'll cry out, but this time they'll cry out to God and say, God help us, and will he send the Messiah to deliver them? So it's very critical strategic time for the nation of Israel. She said she believes God's word when it says that he blesses those who bless Israel and bless his people so we can bless them through our prayers for them. Just follow the news and pray for the leadership and pray for Israel. Thank you for listening, guys. And may God watch between you and me while we're apart one from another. And don't forget to say your prayers.